Hello again, I'm back with another tutorial video and this time I'm going to be showing you how to set up your microphone through your USB audio interface uh, using hopefully an XLR microphone. Um, so if you watch the other video that I posted about uh, setting up your USB microphone then this is going to be very similar, it's just going to be um, using your USB audio interface driver instead of uh, just your default uh, sound device. So, as the same as the other video, you're just going to need the uh, download for Voice Meter Banana, and I will include that into the description for this video as well. Um, but this time, you don't need the ACO driver. Um, when you um, plug in your USB audio interface, it will install an ACO driver specific to your device. Um, just on its own. So once you've downloaded uh, VoiceMeter Banana and installed it, um, you'll have to restart your computer for the uh, sound driver to show up. Once you've done that, you go into your sound settings, right click that little speaker icon, open sound settings. You want to choose your output device. Um, mine says speakers, VoiceMeter Banana, VB, audio, VoiceMeter, auxiliary, uh, VAIO. That stands for virtual audio in, out, VIO for short. So you'll select that one, not the one that says input, if, if you have that option. And then for your input, that's going to be your actual microphone. You're going to select the uh, voice meter aux VIO, not the one that doesn't have the aux. You'll select the auxiliary one for this one. And that sets that up. You'll go into, uh, you'll open up voice meter. Uh, one thing you probably want to do first uh, is uh, go... I like to have this option turned on, system tray, so it runs a startup, and then also when you close this, it just stays down here on the on the tray, because if it closes, you'll lose your uh, you'll lose your audio signal. So I set that up that way. Um, and then you'll want to select your hardware output on A1, and that's going to be, for me, my, uh, my USB interface is called Audio Control 1. You'll just choose the ACO device for whatever your interface is. So if you're using like a Focusrite Scarlett, you select the Focusrite USB ACO. Uh, I think that reinitialized my audio. So I'm not sure if it sounds different to you on the, on the video, but in my headphone, it's like cut off on one side. So uh, yeah, definitely I can see that now on these channels. So what we're going to do now is uh, you'll go into the drop down menu, go down to system settings. You'll want to uh, change these channels. So uh, this is set up as a stereo channel, but f on my interface, I think it only s it only allows like a mono input, and so I'm going to right click this too, down onto one. That makes it so it's a mono signal; it's louder. And then you can even select mono on here that increases the volume a little bit more, but that's not necessary in my case. And then uh, if your interface has two inputs uh, or more inputs, but this only has options for three inputs, um, you can. Uh, move those up to those those inputs. So like this is the second input, this is the first input. Um, you can have those turned on. Once you've got your, uh, your channel set to mono, then uh, if you're having latency problems, right here where it says out A1 main device, that's the interface that you've selected. If you click this, it brings up the ACO panel for your, uh, for your device. And if you're having latency problems, you'll want to select your sample rate, your process buffer, and you'll just lower that. So by default, I think it comes on 512 samples, and uh, that will have pretty minimal latency, but if it's still like too much for you, I move it down to 128. That's uh, pretty much like un undetectable latency on my end, um, and so it works for me. So let's see. Uh, oh, another thing that you'll want to do is uh, if you're... Uh, I'm not sure if this if this uh, affects through voice meter or uh, not voice meter but through like Discord or like in game chat. I think in order for those options to be heard through, you have to have this set to B2. Um, and the reason for that is because B1 is your desktop audio, which doesn't get heard through Discord or in game chat. And then B2, uh, these channels over here. So like you can see how my voice is coming up on the B2 channel. That's the auxiliary channel that we selected in here. Uh, under your input device. So this is B2. This would be B1, this would be B2. So that's why you have to have your microphone set on B2, otherwise people won't hear you. Uh, so I don't 
think I even covered that in my other video, so uh, probably going to be getting some questions about that. Uh, so I think from there, all I do is add a little bit of compression. I like to go up to 0 0.4, 0 0.5. That's about as high as I go. Um, and then a little EQ. I'll just reset those so you can hear what it sounds like without. It's uh, I don't actually know what it sounds like. I've never really listened to what it sounds like without any kind of uh, any kind of processing on it. But so we'll raise that up a little bit. And uh, again, I I, I uh, kind of described this in my other video. But what compression does is it takes the the levels of uh, quiet parts, like if you're speaking softly, if you're whispering, or if you're being louder, uh, and it makes them closer together. So the there is there's less disparity between the volume the volumes of uh, when you're being quiet and when you're being loud. Uh, and then I just increase the EQ a little bit. I like to bring it up around here because that kind of boosts a little bit of the low end of the of the frequency spectrum, um, but still kind of gives it some high end as well. It's not completely muffled uh, just with all low end boost. So uh, I, th I really think that covers everything. It's, it's a... Uh, it's a lot more straightforward once you have uh, once you have a USB interface and an XLR microphone. It's a lot more straightforward to get this kind of thing set up. Um, but if you have any questions, or if I if you feel like I didn't explain something very well, or you're confused, or anything at all, feel free to leave me a comment or hit me up on Discord, and uh, I'll do my best to help you out if I can. I probably can, so don't be afraid to ask. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you. Hopefully, uh, yeah. I hope you get what you need out of this video. Uh, and if you do, please leave a, a like and a comment and a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. And I will uh, catch you in the next one, y'all. Bye.